matching action to the type of variation this is going to be very interesting okay what would it mean in practice to treat a special cost like common cost if you treat special cost like common cost it is dangerous because it will not help you reach the objectives so let's go into the depth of it now for the special cost what actions do we take the type of action that you take can be four different things either you can study all data or either you look at between two individual points so this must be clear so when do you look at two different points in common cause or special cause special cause okay so which means what will happen if you start taking decision between two points when actually the cause is common right okay second thing make basic changes to the process the action that you can take it the two types of action that you can take again is you can make basic changes or you can take action based on a reported difference if these four statements are clear one is look at difference between individual points and study all the data another thing is take action based on the difference reported between two individual points and based on the study of all data make basic changes to the process okay so there can be two types of variation where causes we said one is a special cause one is a common cause now let me go into the little bit of depth what will happen if it is a special cause where you look at look for difference between individual points and it is a common cause yeah this is a waste of time for you to look at the difference between individual points in common cause please write notes don't waste your time by looking at the difference between individual points when it is a common cause suppose if it is a common cause and you take action based on the reported difference now assume that anyway you wasted time but you also take action based on this reported difference if it is a common cause so what should i write here when it is a special cause you are taking action based on the reported difference when it is actually the common cause assuming that a special cause so it will increase the variation if it is a common cause and if you take action based on the difference between individual points it will increase the variation similarly actually it is a common cause if you study all the data if it is a special cause what will happen you will lose time in responding to the problem because you know that it's a special cause you can straight away pin that down but now you are studying all the data and you are taking more time to respond to the problem if it is a special cause and you make basic changes to the process what happens because only if it is a common cause you should study all the data and make the basic changes to the process but if it is a special cause if you make basic changes to the process what will happen loss of productivity and now this may also increase variation now let us see the other things we treat special causes like special causes in special causes we love to look for what was difference between individual points and we looked at what is difference between individual points okay uh, here we should treat common causes like common causes so if it is a common cause we should study all the data and if we studied all the data then we'll get better understanding of the system if it is a common cause you make basic changes to the process if you make basic changes to the process definitely you'll reduce variations 
and similarly if it is a special cause you have to look at what was difference between two individual point if you look at what is difference between two point then you will get some useful information and if it is a special cause you have to take action based on the reported difference one point one point you'll reduce variations <laughs>